The underlining theme of the scriptures today is humility. As I was doing research for this homily, I discovered that there are many different definitions of humility. St. Thomas Aquinas says that humility consists in keeping oneself within one's own bounds. Mother Teresa says that humility is the mother of all virtues, purity, charity, and obedience. It seems that almost every spiritual writer has his or her definition of it. The one I like the best and fits with today's readings was anonymous. Humility is the virtue which keeps us honest about ourselves, who we are, and who God is. Let me repeat that. Humility is the virtue which keeps us honest about ourselves, who we are, and who God is. In the first reading, we meet Naaman, but to understand what's going on in this very brief passage of a much bigger story and why he can teach us about humility, we need to know that Naaman was the head of the Syrian army. And the Syrian army was a fierce opponent of the Israelites. In other words, they were considered the enemies of God's chosen people. Naaman was accomplished, he was smart, and someone to be feared, but he had a tragic flaw. He had leprosy. Naaman was strong and a very fierce military commander, but he had a humiliating, debilitating, and disfiguring disease that everyone could see. Imagine how this affected Naaman. Here is a great man with a horrible disease. It was his darkness, his weakness. Now let me stop there and say this, that all of us have a leprosy. Everyone, and I mean everyone, has a weakness. It doesn't matter how successful or how educated we are, everyone has a darkness in his or her life. It might be a physical ailment, an addiction, an obsession, or a hurt that we can't seem to get over. St. Paul called it a thorn in the flesh. We all have something that bugs us and that we wish would go away. It is important that we acknowledge our leprosy, whatever it may be, because it is essential when it comes to our spiritual life and to our relationship with God. Because very often, it is the thorn in the flesh or our darkness that will bring us closer to God. Now, don't get me wrong, God is not opposed to our accomplishments. The glory of God is man fully alive, says St. Irenaeus, but our strength can often be our weakness. When we feel confident or when life is going well and we think we have it all figured out, that's when we can fall into the trap of thinking and acting like we don't need God or that we are the creators of our own destiny. It is a higher calling to recognize that everything we have and all that we are is because of God who made us, and we are made for him. His merciful love defines us at our core, not our successes or even our failures. Sometimes we think that we only need God when we are in trouble, but that is why we must never forget that given our human condition, we are always in trouble. 
There is a saying, where you stumble, there is where you must dig your treasure. Knowing our weakness is where we find our dependence upon God. Knowing our darkness is when we humbly search for the light. So the story of Naaman is that he wants to be healed of his leprosy. But in order to receive the healing he desires, he must lower himself several times, which demands that he not rely on his own strength, but surrender to his weakness and rely on the power of God. The story of Naaman's healing is really a story of his conversion. Leprosy also plays a part in the gospel today, but this time 10 lepers approach Jesus at a distance and ask for healing, but only one returns to give thanks. Giving thanks is another form of humility. It is the recognition that someone has done something greater for us. And when it comes to God and our relationship with him, there is no one who has done more for us. He lowered himself upon the cross for our salvation. And in humility, we bow down before him in adoration and thanksgiving. So what does all of this have to say to us? Well, I think that we always need to be reminded that we are sinners living in a fallen world. Because sometimes we live with the illusion that life is supposed to be easy and that we are always supposed to be happy and that we can do everything and anything on our own and never be a burden to anyone. But then something horrible happens and darkness descends and we might get angry or become distressed and we might even get depressed or give up. Only when we recognize that this world is imperfect and that we are weak will we remember why we need a savior and why humility is so important. It keeps us honest about ourselves, who we are and who God is now and forever.